Hey guys, welcome back and welcome if you're new. I'm Tiffany and today I want to show you guys what I was sent from Bloom Daily Planners. So a few weeks ago they reached out to me and asked me if I would do a review of their products and they allowed me to choose two items. So let's take a look at what I chose. So I chose two planners, one dated and one undated. And in the package you get this really beautiful card. It says believe in yourself and I really love the colors. And at the back you have information about the company. So it's female founded which is really good. And what I love even more than that is the fact that they give back so much. Right, so you have here buy one give one. Every Bloom purchase supports giving 100% free planners to women in need. Product donation. Bloom has donated over 3 million and counting in product to amazing charities since our founding in 2010. And philanthropy. Bloom provides financial support and volunteer services annually to a variety of charities. So I really love that. And then they have information about their Facebook group where you can get sneak peeks and product, product guides, that kind of thing. So this will definitely go in my planner. Okay, so let's look at this one first. So this is an academic planner and I am a teacher. I teach English as a second language and most times teacher planners just don't work for me. The layout is usually suited to someone who teaches in like a primary school or a secondary school and that is not me. I work for myself. Um, I have one-on-one -on -one sessions and I don't usually have more than five or six students at a time. So I, you know, I looked through the teacher planners, of course, it didn't really work. And I decided to look at the student planners. So this is actually a student planner. So where you would probably put the subjects for the day, that space is enough for me. I can actually put my students names there. So I thought, okay, let me see how I can use this planner. So, you know, I'm not like a colorful girl anymore. <laughs> um, I don't usually go for like bright, bright colors, but I like this one. I like the blush pink. I like how muted these colors are. So I said I would try it. And it's also a collaboration with an artist. So this is an artist collab planner. And there's information about the artist at the back. Right, her name is Haley White, and there's a little pocket here that you can see. Okay, so this is um, the soft cover Daisy Student Planner. Okay, and it is seven by nine. Right, the cover, I believe, it is gloss laminated. Right, so it's flexible. Okay, so on the first page. You have July 2024 to July 2025, name, phone, teacher, emergency contact. How will you bloom? So it says, daisies are a sign of purity and symbolize new beginnings. Every year is a new opportunity to learn and grow and become an even more amazing version of yourself. Create a mission statement for your ideal year. And then you have a space for the word of the year. Nice. Okay. Next, we have my joy list. So what brings you peace and happiness? What do you love about yourself? Refer back to this page when you need a boost. I love myself because, and then I am, I am statements. I feel best when, right? I spend my time. I take care of myself by, I nourish my body by, I connect with, I make sure to, I make sure not to, and then three more I am statements. And here, this year's visions identifying and visualizing your goals for the year is the first step towards achieving them write them down here and check back often to stay on track so you have personal growth being healthy school which i could change to work family and friends books i would like to read fun and adventure things to be grateful for nice okay here we have 2024 to 2025 the year of more and less great and on this page it's a space for your vision board and there's actually a link below that actually teaches you how to create a vision board and you can share your vision board with certain hashtags so hashtag bloom vision board or hashtag plant to bloom okay 
this is really comprehensive I like it so here's a class schedule and you have the space for the subject so this is where I would actually put my students names right then you have times and the days of the week on the two pages okay to read so it's a bookshelf with books I guess you can write the names of the books that you intend to read and maybe like color them in or highlight them when you've finished reading then your reading list so book title start date end date notes and the rating right you have five stars contacts website logins a letter to myself so that new year momentum is so powerful but life will inevitably distract from it on a really good day write a letter to your future self that is having a tough day below include whatever you think you would need or want to hear in that moment refer back to this when you need a boost to get back on track with your goals i like this and it says dear me sincerely and a space to sign amazing capable human oh that is nice i like that and then we have some lined pages one two three four five six so six line pages and then we begin with the month all right so it starts from july and it is actually a sunday start all right at the top here you have a quotation and then on the right notes ideas and to do's and then we go straight into the weekly okay so the monthlies are sunday starts and the weeklies are monday starts i don't know if that would confuse anybody i mean i could make it work it's not a big deal for me um but it, it may confuse some people so weeklies start on monday right and the weekends are stacked and here you have goals and to do's at the top here you have a space for weekly gratitude yeah, so in this space I could definitely put um, the work that I plan to do with my students each day okay right so all of the monthlies look the same with a different quotation on the top right and that goes all the way until July 2025 yep then one line page and then we have monthly highlights right august september october etc until july and then we okay parts of speech so this is me english definitely me parts of speech and punctuation this will come in very handy for my students okay conversion tables math geometry basics definitely not me Mathematics is not my ministry, right? I will just stick those pages together <laughs> if I have to. Then biology, periodic table, okay. Right, I don't need this, nor this. And then we have a year of growth, right? So it says, take pride in how far you have come and have faith in how far you can continue to go. So my favorite moments, what I made happen, bumps in the road, lessons learned, how to improve, how I will remember this year. That's it. Nice. And of course, it's coiled so it can fold back on itself, which is great. Right? This one doesn't have any tabs. And now for the undated planner. So this is the undated soft cover tan leopard planner. I love this color and I love animal print. So this was perfect. Um, and it's so cute and compact. So the size is actually 5.5 by 8.25. Right, same gloss laminated cover like before. Uh, and there is a pocket here that you can slip your sticker sheets into right there are also really nice tabs 
perfect and on this page you have bloom january to december name phone email the section for the mission statement like before and my word of the year and this is again the same information that's at the back of the other card right about the company then we have important dates january to december plans to bloom so a new year a blank slate for new ideas progress and personal growth so top five goals for the year things to look forward to new things to try books i would like to read things to improve upon things to be grateful for and this year's bucket list and then we have the page for the vision board so here where are you and where you're going Rate each area of your life currently and analyze why you chose that number in the box below. What are the positives and negatives of each? What steps can you take to move your ratings closer to a 10 if not already there? You will have a chance to rescore at the end of the year to see your progress. So there's personal growth, relationships, health and fitness, family and home, work or school, finances, fun and adventure and they leave two spaces blank for you to add whatever you like and then you have a things not to do list this is interesting i like this right on this side we have values so it's common values in alphabetical order everything from accountability to usefulness and then the year of more and less like the last planner and then we have a letter to myself, so same as before. Here, habit tracking. I like this. Right, so the 12 lines below allow you to track one daily habit for a full month. You can repeat the same habits month to month, aim for tracking a new habit each month or anything in between. And then you have monthly tasks whatever it is, and the months of the year. Okay, here you have my ideal week. What daily, weekly habits and routines help you feel your best and allow you to show up as your very best self? Document them here. So daytime routine, evening routine, weekend routine. And this is Monday to Sunday. And here we have your weekly scheduling template. Use this page to track recurring weekly commitments, whether it be <clears throat> work, class, meetings, etc. Plus your healthy habits from the previous page. Life will happen, so it won't always look like this, but this page can serve as a visual template for a well-balanced week. Okay, and you can print more on their website. Nice. Oh, monthly spending summary. Okay, great. So it has income, expenses, monthly expenses, monthly savings, annual income, annual expenses, annual savings. And here you have bills, due date, amount due, auto pay, yes or no, right? You have the months of the year here. So this is your monthly bill payment tracker. And then you have my joy list. I love myself because and I feel best when, just like the last planner. And then we have some line pages and we go into the monthlies. So again, the monthlies start on a Sunday. And you have a quotation here, notes, ideas and to do's on the right. And then we go into a horizontal layout and it starts on Monday, <laughs> right? So this is the weekly. It starts on Monday. At the top, you have this week's focus. All right, so it says everyone has to-do lists, but what about to-be lists? Write down a list of adjectives describing how you want to be this year. Show up as that person in your daily to-dos. Nice. All right, and it goes all the way to December. And at the end, you have your monthly highlights, important dates for next year, and a year of growth. So take a moment to reflect on the past year 
how far you have come, how much potential you have to continue to grow. Compare these scores with the ones you set on page six. Use the boxes to highlight only memories, uh, sorry, any memories, lessons, or takeaways. Okay, that is nice. And we got a sticker sheet and a magnetic page marker. Today is a fresh start. Nice. Okay. Very cute. So the stickers say things like uh, daily gratitude, deadline to do appointments, important meeting. And you can use these for grocery shopping, birthdays. Okay, quotations. Very nice. And of course, you know, it folds back on itself, which I really like. Perfect. So I want to take this moment to thank Bloom Daily Planners for sending me these products. I will definitely be using it and I'll give you feedback on how it's working for me. Please check out their website. I've linked it below. I promise you they have something for everyone. And I also have an affiliate code that I'll link below if you want to save 10% on your purchases. Thanks again for taking time out to watch my videos. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and I will see you soon. Casitos.